Hello. So this is from IIT Jam 2022 Mathematics paper. So the question 21. On the open interval from minus C to C, where C is a positive real number, Yx is a is an infinitely differentiable solution of the differential equation. So the equation is given dy by dy dx is equal to y square minus 1 plus cos x and we have the initial condition also given that is y0 is equal to 0 so then which of the following is correct so let us see that see this check this function so this y square is a even function and cos x is also an even function so minus 1 is a constant so in our case this dy dx, dy dx it will be an even function right so x this y it will be a odd function right so how a odd function actually looks like if we draw a curve of this odd function suppose this is the y and x axis so from here we can do this so an odd function is symmetrical about the origin you can write this in this way one of that function or it can be also okay this is one of the odd function we can explain it like this way so why this is uh, this passing through the origin and we have the condition over also here that y of 0 is equal to 0 now is it possible to find the minima the local maximum or minimum at this origin it is not possible to find the whatever this local minimum or maximum at this point okay so this a and b is not the correct option now I have to check with the option C and D. Okay. C is saying that Yx is strictly increasing at the open interval. And D is also Y is strictly decreasing on the open interval. So we have to find this dy dx. We have to find whether this dy dx is an increasing function or decreasing function. So dy by dx is greater than 0 is an increasing function right and dy dx less than 0 it will be a decreasing function Now, let us check with this. So, we can write dy dx as from the expression that is from here. So, dy dx y square minus minus common. If I take minus common, so 1 minus cos x. So, it will be y square minus 2 sin square x by 2. So, we can write it over here. This. So dy dx is y square minus 1 minus cos x. So we can write it here in this form that dy dx is y square minus 2 of sine square x by 2 right so we know that the maximum value of sine is 1 
minimum value is minus 1 so in this case for square the maximum value will be 1 and the minimum value will be 0 right so this function will be this particular y square minus 2 x sine square x by 2 so it will be minimum if it is greater than y square minus 2 right so sine square x by 2 it is 1 the maximum value we put so this function will be greater than this y square minus 2 right similarly so this function will be maximum when this sine square is 0 so we can write it as this y square should be greater than this function and which is this y square minus 2 so we can write it in this form this y square minus 2 less than dy dx less than y square right now dy dx at x equal to 0 what will be the value of dy dx yes so we can write it this dy dx at x equal to 0 it will be less than y of 0 square which is equal to 0 so in our case we can find easily that this dy yes we can write it in another e so this dy dx at x equal to 0 is less than 0 so there is a decreasing function so we can write from here this y of x at x equal to 0 is strictly decreasing okay. so it is strictly decreasing right so let's see the option c and d so c is saying that it is uh, strictly increasing on the open interval and uh, D is strictly increasing on the open interval minus delta to delta for some positive real number delta. So if we consider some positive real number delta, so it will also, this function will, this y will be strictly decreasing in that case in the same interval of minus delta to delta. So in our case, the option uh, D will be the correct option. So it is the question number 21. So the question number 22 is let h be a real space and this function is given by hx half of e to the power x plus of e to the power minus x. x belong to this real space. Let f be a function within this real space it is defined by this integral. Okay. So we have to find which of the following function is true. Which of the, which one of the following is true. So here we have uh, hx, so we can simplify it in terms of Euler's identity. So we can write it in this form that half of e to the power x we can write at cos x plus of i sin x plus cos x minus of i sin x so from here we can write this hx hx is only cos x okay So here you can see the integral that fx is given 0 to infinity h of x sin theta h of x sin theta d theta. So we can write over here also this ax 
uh, h of x sin theta so it will be cos of x sin theta okay so we can write the integral in this manner this f of x is equal to 0 to pi zero to pi cos of x sin theta d theta right so now here we will use the Leibniz integral rule we'll do the partial derivative over here So how do we find that f dash x? We have to find the first the f dash x, the first derivative of it. So we will find it. So it will be zero to pi. So cos will be minus of sine. So it will be minus sine of x sine theta and x derivative so it will be only sine theta d theta okay we can also find the second derivative of this so it will be f double derivative x so it will be 0 to pi minus will remain there cos of x sin theta and it will be sin theta so sin theta square sin square theta d theta right okay so if you do the partial derivative over here in the f dash f dash of x so just continue from this point so we have to find the double derivative of f da, uh, double dash x so we will do this uh, this partial derivative to find the integral value so here we can do this so integral of sine so we can write it in this way so cos theta so minus minus plus so we can write this integral so sine of x sin theta okay and cos theta 0 to pi right this is the first one minus it will be minus 0 to pi okay sin theta integral will be cos theta minus cos theta the plus cos theta and here it will be sine of cos theta so so we can write it as cos of x sine theta x cos square theta d theta right so this is uh, from 0 to pi so it will be the first term will be this 0 to pi so sine pi is 0 and sine 0 is also 0 so it will it will be just only 0 right so we can write it in this way also and it is 0 minus so here is the cos square theta so we can do one thing so we can write cos square theta in terms of 1 minus sin square theta so how it will do so 0 minus x of 0 to pi cos x sin theta d theta right plus 
x of 0 to pi cos of x sin theta okay, and 1 minus this is plus so x sin theta sin square theta d theta so cos square 1 minus sin square so it will be plus here right so now check with the first option so we have defined this fx f double dash x and f uh, this first derivative so let's check with the option so the first option is x of f double prime plus f prime x plus x f x okay so if we write this in this way yes okay. so if we write in this way this so it will be x yes. so x of double prime x plus f prime x plus x of fx so put all the value of there so in x of prime so we can write this in this way so minus x of 0 to pi cos of x sin theta sin square theta d theta right after that f prime x so we have find the value over here so it will be minus x of 0 to pi cos x sin theta d theta okay. plus take x common and it will be this cos of x sin theta sin square theta d theta right and plus x of fx so it will be plus x we will put the value of fx 0 to pi cos of x sin theta d right so here you will find this this minus of this term is cancelling with this term and the similarly this term will get cancelled so and the result will be zero okay so it is zero so which one of the following is true so in our case this first option a is true for question number 22 okay so we don't uh, need to check with other options because this all will not get to zero everything this remaining option b c d it will not be equal to zero none of them so only the option a will be equal to zero for x belong to this real space r okay